Now, AutoCAD sheet set is like a filing cabinet system for all your project files. Basically, you make all your files of a project in different DWG files and put it all together as one project using sheet set. All right, so let me show you what a sheet set manager is. And for that, I'll type SSM, press enter, and that's gonna open this palette. Now, I'll click on this drop down and I'll select open. And we already have a sheet set manager, which is a DST file, so I'll open it. So I'll go to desktop, sheet set manager folder, and right here we have a DST file. I'll select it and open it. That's it. Now, apparently it looks like we just have these three sheets here. Well, let's see what we have inside these sheets. So if I double click in elevations, you'll see that, well, we have elevation view of this Riverside New Villa project. So this one is, well, you can zoom in here and see this one is East Elevation and that's view number one. And the scale of this East Elevation is one eighth of an inch equals to one feet. Similarly, we have the front elevation of this villa. Now for the same villa, if you want to see its detail view, just go to this detail and that's going to show you the detail view. So here is the detail view. Basically, this is east west section view. And again, here is the scale. And this one is the foundation plan. Again, that's shown here. Not only that, if you look at the title block, it has all the information related to this project. And the best thing is all of these things are fields, which means it will automatically update if the related information changes. So it is completely automated thing. Now, if I go to plan, well, again, the same thing will happen. So here we have the plan view of the same villa and that's the plan view. Here's the scale and you can see the elevation markers. So that's our front elevation and that's our east elevation. And here is the section marker. Now, if you want to go to any of these views, all you need to do is just follow this marker. So here you can see that that's E1, that's sheet number E1 and view number one. So if you want to see the east elevation, you should go there. And that happens to be here or you can directly go to sheet view and here you can go to this specific one for example e1 view number one that's e1 view number one so double click and that's going to take you there if you want to go to this foundation plan double click and that's going to take you there so everything is properly organized here for our project and that's what the sheet set manager can do now let me show you the files that i used to create this sheet set and for that let me just first minimize this and i'll close this as well and here it is so this is the set of file that i used so we started with this and actually you need to have these ready-made files well of course you can download these files from the link in the description so here i'll double click this model drawing and right inside this folder well we can ignore this backup file we have all these model drawings so if you double click let's say east elevation well basically this is what we have a simple east elevation and also we have a ready-made view so if you go to view we have a east elevation view and that's all the information that we have inside this all these other sheet files we can close them all right now in a similar way all the other files here for example east west section foundation plan front end plan view all of these have the respective views and that's it they are all created separately for the same project now i'll go to sheet set manager here and let's look at the blocks so we also have a blocks file and inside blocks we have this label block and then we have the callout block. Now that's a dynamic block. So the label block can be well stretched. And also this view title, viewport scale and view number is the dynamic information which will automatically populate when you add it. Also here we have the view number, sheet number, and that's also dynamic in nature. So you can just rotate it to any direction you want. And not only that, you can change its type from this. So you can change it to elevation, you can change it to detail and so on. And again, this information will populate automatically. And finally, we have a third thing, which is template. So that's all the thing that we need. Now, this template also has this title block and all these other things. And as you can see, this information is not yet populated properly because once you add it in a sheet set, it will automatically take the information from the sheet set and add it here. Well, these two information are part of this template and that is why it is added here automatically so these are the three things that we need the model drawings the block the label and call out block and a template for creating the sheet set now with that we are ready to start with our sheet set so let's learn the step-by-step -step method of making this sheet set So now here we'll start with a completely blank template. It doesn't matter which template you are using. Just start with a blank drawing. Now I'll type SSM for sheet set manager and press enter. Now that's going to open sheet set manager palette where we have three tabs, sheet list, sheet views and model views. Let's go to sheet list 
then this drop down and select new sheet set now here i'll start with an example sheet set click on next and from here select new sheet set now these are some ready-made templates which we are not going to select i'll select the last one which is blank so with the blank sheet set click on next now give it a name so here i'll select river side villa as the name of our sheet set and in the description i'll type two bedroom simple villa project that's our description now where do we want to save this project or the sheet set file well we already have everything for our sheet set in a single folder so let's save this dst file or the sheet set file in the same folder so i'll go to ellipsis desktop and right here sheet set manager and inside the same folder i'll save it so open and now click on sheet set properties now it looks like i've already used this one so i'll just make this name slightly different so riverside new villa and with that i'll click on sheet set properties now as you can see it will automatically use the information that we've added so riverside new villa that's the name here is the description and this is the location of our sheet set file which is right here now we need to fill rest of this information with the files that we already created so model views so we have it in our model views folder so just select this box click here add specify the location so on desktop we have sheet set manager model drawings and that's where we have all the files so click open and okay and done now for the label block we have a block drawing dwg file where we have label as well as call out blocks just select that click here then this box this ellipsis and desktop sheet set manager and right inside this we have this blocks file so just select this and open and now inside this blocks file we have two blocks so i'll just select the second option choose blocks in the drawing file and i'll select the label block click ok and now for the call out block i'll repeat the process so go to this select this box add and here i'll again go to this ellipsis and right here we have the blocks i'll select that open and choose blocks and that's our call out block and open all right now for the override i'll leave that blank because we don't have any override file but we can add a project number so you can go very fancy with this maybe riverside villa rsv123 just a simple name and then the project number actually the first one was project number so the second one is project name so let's add it so for the name i'll call it villa project project phase let's say this is second phase so i'll just type two well leave the milestone as blank and then sheet storage location where do you want to save all your sheets so i'll save it in the same folder so i'll click this box and desktop sheet set manager and right here i'll save all the sheets so select that location and then sheet creation template so we already have a template as well just click here this box the ellipsis and it's already in the sheet set manager folder so sheet set template ncb and open and click ok and done the template is also set now for this option prompt for template select no because we don't want to prompt autocad to just prompt us for a template every time we open a new sheet because we already have a template set so it will just use that with that click ok next and then finish and we have this riverside new villa added now in my case the sheet set manager folder has few extra files from my previous experimentation so i'll just delete all the files that we actually don't need so in this case i don't need well all these files these are from my previous experimentation so we just have this dst file which is created just now riverside new villa which is this file riverside new villa that's our sheet set okay now we can start adding our sheets so right click here on this riverside new villa and go to new sheet and let's add our very first sheet so basically now what we are going to do we'll add few sheets like elevations details plan view and on these sheets we'll add all the views from our model drawing so for the elevation i'll use number e1 and then i'll use the sheet title elevations and with this checked open in block editor click ok and this will happen if you move it aside and just zoom into this one you'll notice that it will automatically use a title block that we created in the template so you don't have to do it by the way if you want to learn about making this title block will all of this automatic information then check this video now back here you'll notice that all of these things are automatically populated so you just don't need to add this information for example who checked it the title of this 
project and the name of project, the sheet name, the project number, the sheet number and all these things. They are automatically added and if later you change it, it will change here in the title block as well. Well, automatically. Okay, so with that, let's add one more sheet. So I'll right click here and I'll go to new sheet and let's call it detail one. So D one and I'll call it detail and again, okay. And once again, the sheet is added with the title block and all the information here. So that's detail D one and so on. Let's add one more for the plan view. So I'll right click here, new sheet and let's call it P one for the plan and I'll call it plan. All right, click okay and done. So we now have three sheets, basically three layout views. And in these sheets, we are going to add all the different views from our model drawing. Now, since we've already added model drawing in our sheet set, that's going to show up here in the model view tab. So now if you go to model view tab, you'll notice that we already have all of these model view drawings. And basically these are the drawings from the folder which we associated in the sheet set. If you expand these files, you'll notice that it already contains some views. And these are views that are already created in the DWG files, which we are going to import now. So since this one is plan view, I'm going to add the plan view. So select the plan view, right click, select place on sheet, and we are going to place here, which is big. So let's just make it smaller. So I'll right click directly, and I'll select 132 of an inch equals to one feet, which is very small. So maybe I'll make it one eighth of an inch equals to one feet, which is about right. So I'll just click here and okay and done. Okay, now something happened. As soon as you added this, it will automatically add the label view. Why is that? Because when creating sheet set, we already defined label view. So it will automatically add the label block with the name of view and its scale. Also, here's the view number, which we'll fix in a moment. It is not showing, but we'll fix it. So you don't need to add these things and it will automatically populate this information too. Now, similarly, let's add the elevation. So go to elevations and here I want to add east elevation first. So I'll right click on east elevation, place on sheet right here. I'll right click and one eighth of an inch equals to one feet and it will go right about here and okay. Let's do the same for front elevation. So I'll go to this front elevation, right click, place on sheet and right click again, one eighth of an inch equals to one feet and that should go right about here and okay, done. So that's also added. Now I'll go to detail and on detail, I'm adding the east west section and the foundation plan right here. So east west section, place on sheet, right click one eighth and that's gonna go here. And then I have the foundation plan, right click, place on sheet and again right click. And since this is the detailed view, I'll simply select one fourth of an inch equals to one feet and maybe we can make it larger. So three eighth, yeah, that is also good. So I'll just use three eighth and I'll just place it here. All right, now I'll slightly move it up. These two things, I'll just select it. I'll go to move and I'll just move it slightly up so that we have room for this. All right, now that we have added all of these views, let's see one more thing and that's our viewport boundary. So everywhere we have this boundary, which doesn't look well right. And for that, I have created a layer. So if you go to this layer drop down, you'll notice that we already have a VP layer. Well, this layer was created in the template, so we have it now. So select the viewport boundary and put it on VP layer and then just freeze that layer. So go to the drop down and freeze it. Done, the boundaries are gone. You can do the same for elevations and the plan view. And I'll do the same for plan. All right, it is done. Now the next thing is the view numbering. So right now we just have one view here, but still we need to number it. So how do we do that? Well, before I do that, let me go to this sheet view. Now, since we have added three sheets, now these sheets will show up in the sheet view tab. All right, so we have three sheets and every sheet has, well, some views. So plan view has just one view. So if you expand it, you're gonna see only this view, which is plan view. Well, just right click here and select rename and renumber and give it a number. So I'll call it one, okay, and it is done. Now the number will show up once you regenerate your drawing. So type RE, press enter, and the number will show up. It's kind of like refreshing your drawing. You can repeat the process for detail. So go to detail, that's right here, expand it, and there are two views. So east west section, that's this, and then foundation. I'll go to east west section, right click, rename and renumber. I'll name it as one. Well, number it as one. The next, the second one is two and okay, done. So this one should be one, this one should be two. So let's type RE, enter and yes, this is done. Repeat the process for elevations. 
in a similar way. So I'll go to elevations and it looks like we are in the model tab. So I'll just go to this layout tab here in the elevations, right click, rename and renumber. So the east elevation is one, next front is two. Click OK and RE, enter and that's also done. So basically we now have added the sheets here in our drawing. All the sheets have the respective views and now we can also see it with the label view. So using this label callout, you can actually see the specifications of every single sheet view. Okay, there is one more thing. What about adding some callout views here in the plan view? And uh, these callout views will basically link to different views of other sheets. Well, we can do that. So let's now go to this plan view and right here, I'm going to add a few callouts. So I'll just go to this east elevation here. Then I'll right click and here we have an option called place callout block. So go to that and select callout block. Since we have already specified it, AutoCAD will use that callout block. Just select this location, click OK and done. Now this is where we are going to add the east elevation. Of course, this is east, west, north and south. If you want to add a marker here as north somewhere here, you can do that. So we'll just skip it for now. And here I'll select this and I'm going to rotate it like this. And as you know, this is not the elevation marker. So I'll just select it and I'll select elevation. All right, let's add the front elevation as well. So front elevation, right click, place callout block and callout. I'll place it here, click OK. And again, I'll change that. Well, the direction is right. Just change it to elevation, done. Now here also we have a section view and the sectioning line is passing like this. So let's add that section call out. So east west section. So from east to west. So right click here on the east west section. Go to place call out block and call out block. Uh, just place it here and OK. And this is basically the call out for the east west section view. So I'm not going to change anything. The only thing will be adding a line for the sectioning. So I'll just add it like so. OK, now this is not where it is passing. So I'll select both of these and I'll move it slightly up where it is supposed to pass. So it should pass through this window and then this wall. And I know that by the fact that if you go to detail and if you zoom into this area, you'll notice that this is a wall. Then here we have a window and then again wall. So where is this thing happening? And also you can see the fridge and these two doors. So that will only happen when you go through this. So we have wall, then window, then wall. You can see the fridge, you can see doors and all. So that's where the section line is passing. Now I'll go to polyline. I'll click on this point and I'll add that tail. So I'll just add it here. Double click this polyline just to make it thick. Go to width and then click on slightly, well, two points that are very close to one another, kind of like this. And that will be the width, okay? So that's done. Press enter and we have the section call out as well. Now what is happening here? Well, you can now see that if you want to look at the front elevation, as this is the elevation marker, then you need to go to view number two of sheet E1. Well, where it is, here is the sheet E1, view number two. So basically you can just double click here and that will take you to that. So that is our front elevation. Okay, let's now go to the plan view. So I'll double click on the plan view. That's again here. Now this is our east elevation, right? And for this, you need to go to view number one of E1 sheet. So E1 sheet is right here and here's the view number one. So double click and that's gonna take you to east elevation. So now you can only use this sheet set to go to any view in your complete project. Now, finally, let's talk about publishing it. As if you now have a look at the sheet set folder, well, it now contains several things. Well, it has these three extra layout drawings and these are basically the sheets that we created. Then we have the DSD file and there are several other things as well in this project. So if you want to export this, you can use e-transmit option. And if you want to plot all of this, well, you can use the publish option. I'll explore both of these methods. So let's just go to this sheet list here, Riverside Villa, I'll right click. And now here we have an option called publish and here select publish to PDF, DWF or whatever format you want. I'll select publish to PDF. Now I'll specify desktop as the location. Of course, the same folder, sheet set manager, and I'll leave the default name and select. Okay, now what is happening here? It's going to publish it all as a single PDF file and it is done. So file is published. Let's see that. So here's the PDF file, double click this and 
here inside this file we have all the details well where are those details well let's just expand it first and now i'm going to click here all right and let's also close this bar here so these are the thumbnails of the different sheets so we have as you can see three sheets here but if you now go to the bookmarks you can actually see it in the bookmark view so we have the elevation sheet where we have east elevation view front elevation view by the way they are selectable you can go to detail and that's detail east west detail foundation plan detail if you go to plan view we have the same so everything is now properly arranged and you can see it in a proper way as well now not only that it kind of clubbed all of these files into one single pdf which is a great thing all right now let's just close this pdf here and let's go back to the drawing now what if you want to export it out as a single package so that you can send it to someone else well in that case you can e-transmit this so once again i'll right click here and i'll select e-transmit right here now before doing that you can also select transmit to setup but we'll do that directly here using e-transmit so go to e-transmit and as you can see there is a warning it's not going to work because we have not yet saved these three files it needs to be saved okay let's do that so plan view let's hit the save button then the detail let's hit the save button and for the even elevations let's save it and this is just the blank template with which we started which is not required and now we are ready for e-transmit so right click and e-transmit and it is ready now so here also you can see what are the files that are being transmitted now and this is just the sheet view you can go to file tree view or the file table view these are different views and these are the files the detail list of the file that will be transmitted now if you want to add any new file click on add file add it to this package or if you don't want it well that's just sufficient you can also go to transmittal setup and you can make more settings in the modify option right here in this case i don't want to change anything so i'll simply click ok close and then ok again here specify the location which happens to be the same folder sheet set manager and it's going to create a zip package so click on save and now the transmittal package is created so if you go to this you're going to see a zip package and inside this we have everything that we need for the sheet set every single thing is available so you can simply send this one and your project will work anyone can extract files from here put it in a single folder and they can work with the sheet set and all the files in it so that was the sheet set made in AutoCAD. If you want to learn the entire process of making sheet set in detail along with the step-by-step -step method of making all the drawings of the sheet set like the elevations, detail, section, foundation, its label and callout blocks, title block and a lot more, then check the course in the description of this video. I'll see you soon with another one.